as you know, every week we ask you for your top doggy tips and life hacks. And I thought it's about time I picked out some of the best and read you our best top 10 doggy tips from our amazing fans. So our first tip was on last week's video and it's from Watch Mitzi. If you drop the leash while on a walk and your dog runs away, don't chase him. You want to stop and run in the opposite direction that your dog went, calling their name. Don't look back because then they'll feel that they'll keep going to see if you give them the, the attention. You want to make the dog feel that they are running away on their own because they won't go, they want someone with them. If you chase them, they'll think that they have a friend with them and keep running. Now this is a really, really good tip for anyone on a dog walk. Albert's not very good off the leash, she's not very good at recall quite yet. So this is definitely a tip that I'm going to use with Albert. Our next tip is from Edwin and he said, if you want your dog to be distracted instead of crying and missing you, get a wash tube or bottle and put peanut butter in it. The dog's going to spend all day trying to reach the peanut butter. This is really good and I have actually used this tip with Albert and it definitely does work. It's really good for dogs that are suffering with separation anxiety too. Now our next tip is from Kira. And she says, when your puppy is teething, small ice cubes or ice balls are great, fat-free, pain-relieving treat. Now, this is a really good one for teething. It'd be really, really nice on their gums, and it's going to keep them uh, occupied for a little bit because the ice is going to take a while to melt. So thanks for that tip, Karen. So our next is from Carolina Macy. She says, if you get a tennis ball and cut a small strip for it and put a treat inside it, then your dog has got to try and get it out. Apparently she's got a Yorkie and she loves it. This is a really good puzzle toy for your dog actually. Um, in next week's video we're going to have a um, video about how to keep your dogs occupied indoors. So when it's wet weather um, or if you can't take your dog outside due to an injury then this is going to have some really good tips for keeping your dog occupied indoors. Um, so keep an eye out for that one next week. And our final tip of the day is from Jacqueline Gomez. And she said, run a dryer sheet on your dog's fur when there's a storm and your doggy will stay calm. I've heard this quite a lot actually and I've not actually tried it because Albert's not that bad in a thunderstorm. But I'd be really interested to see what you all think about this one. Because um, it's been said it's an alternative to a thunder shirt many times. So I'd be really interested to see if any of you have tried this and whether it works. So you may remember from last week's video that we had a special competition on. And we'd like to say that Watch Mitzi you have won with your comment that we just read out in this video so you're going to get your doggy chew toy in the post just as soon as you send your address to relaxmydogmusic at gmail.com so we really hope that you enjoyed hearing all of our top fans top tips about dogs if you've got any of your own then please do leave them in the comment section below we love reading them and maybe you'll be on the next video where we read out our tips so if you did enjoy the video please do give us a big thumbs up and if you haven't already then make sure that you hit that subscribe button but that's it from us for now, so we'll see you again next week. Bye!